Hi everyone, thought I'd give a very quick little tutorial on Socrative, Socrative.com. Uh, uh, they've done an update to their user interface. Uh, I think they have a lot of really nice features. Uh, I have in the past used Kahoot, which is also a really good audience polling software, but Socrative, uh, with their updates, I, I really like what they've done. It makes a great uh, way of really polling your audience live using their smartphones or any internet enabled device. Uh, and it's very easy to use. Uh, here you see at the top, you can manage quizzes and you can create a quiz. You can even import a quiz, look your quizzes or look at your reports. I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. I've already created a few quizzes. I'm gonna show you as an example what it looks like when you start a quiz. Here we go to start quiz uh, and I'm gonna do uh, just one of my sample quizzes here. As you can see, there's a few different uh, ways that you can actually deliver the quiz. You can do it as student paste, immediate feedback, so they get feedback right away. Student paste, uh, student navigation, so that way they're basically navigating at their own pace and doing the quiz at their own pace. And lastly is in teacher paste, which is typically what you want in a live poll audience. So what happens is uh, you set up the question and uh, everyone responds and then you click when they start to do the next one. So we're going to do that as an example here. That automatically changes some of the settings here. We can make it so that uh, their, their student names, they're going to have to write in a student name. So that way we can identify the certain user um, across, across the board. Uh, so let's hit start. As you can see here, we have a room uh, number at that top. And so what the user does is they go to uh, Soc B Socrative. So here, B dot socrative dot com and they can do this on a mobile device as well when they get to the screen here you'll see enter teachers room code and so we're going to enter that in eight seven five six one dac we're going to hit join room and here we go now it asks for our name we'll put in our name and here, here's the first of uh, first of three questions. And we can see here now uh, it shows that there is uh, one student in there. And actually, well, actually there are two. Um, the other one is on my mobile device currently. But uh, since my mobile device has gone to sleep, there's only going to be showing uh, one current active student. Here I can uh, then, you know, select an answer. I can submit the answer. And as you can see, it says you've completed the activity and is waiting for the teacher to continue. So if we come back here, uh, we can see that one of one students have answered, and I can say, how'd we do? And it shows uh, the percentage of students that answered the, the different questions. So here we have 100% uh, answered A. And we can also uh, add explanations to the answer. We hit next. Uh, that next question will automatically pop up for that user. So it's kind of a neat, uh, nifty little um, tool. You can do three different types of questions. You can do multiple choice, true and false, and short answer. And you can actually designate correct answers for all three of those. Uh, when you hit finish, you can actually say um, you know, how you want those results saved. So to your dashboard, it'll just be saved inside uh, the website. You can actually view the chart right, right there or get the reports. So any of these, um, you, know, you can do and, and save in, in different kinds of ways. Uh, you can also do some other quick little features such as uh, something called Space Race. So this is kind of fun where uh, you can select a quiz, uh, the number of teams, so we'll say two teams, so we'll auto assign. We can, we can you know, select some fun little picture uh, and we can hit start. And here again you can see now that we've hit start, again it's prompted asking for my name. I enter my name and here when I answer a question, so here I'll show, uh, if I hit a question, I hit submit answer, so we got it correct, our team has just gotten some points. So it's kind of a fun way to get um, you know, a number of different people kind of working together. And it even says here on the top what my team is, so my, I'm on team blue. So this way you can kind of get your audience almost competing with each other, and it's a kind of a fun little activity for them to do. And again, we can even save those results as well. So uh, here it is, uh, Socrative, and uh, I'll post some pictures of what it looks like on a mobile device as well, as most of your audience members would probably be using a smart mobile device.